So today, I think I want to talk about um, how you change your life in four minutes. I can out myself here because I have been reading self-help books. I am probably addicted to self-help books. I have everything. Good in a room, the artist way I have here. Power! Oh, look at this coming out straight. It cures you from being gay. Oh my God. Yeah, this is very interesting. The best source for comedy material. Oh, this change your life in seven days. And I thought, what? Change your life in seven days? Well, there must be a quicker method. Let's do it in four minutes. Let's do it in the blog. Let me... Let me see what I wrote. This is my self-help book. It is called A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Do you see that? Here, here are the notes already. Dogs. Oh my god. My clothes is open. How embarrassing. The, I quickly close my... No, whatever. So I was in LA, everything happened to me there, everything that could have happened. And I wrote a book about it. It is a mixture between a self-help book and a comedy book, I think, which basically is almost the same. I made pictures to it, images. See, I, I painted a little bit. This is me at the AAs. I can't explain it to you, but this is me in court. This is me, oh, what is that naked people? I don't know. Yeah, this is me in jail. It is, um, very long story and I will talk about it at one point. There was one publisher I sent it to and he said, I will publish your book, I really like it, but I only publish it without your paintings. So I said, not without my paintings. I'm everything or nothing, so you can have this or not. And then he said, well, then not. So this is a little bit sad. Um, maybe there is a self-help book of how to publish your book and saying not without my paintings or something. The idea is easy. You can change your life in seven days. I think so. You can change your life in four minutes, actually. And I tell you why, uh, how. Why? It's probably you have to choose why. <laughs> Some of them also say fake it till you make it or fake it till you become it. But then I have a question because I am not 100% sure if this whole faking thing works. I mean, for example, if I fake to brush my teeth, you know, if I just think I brush my teeth, but I don't brush my teeth, I just fake it in my brain that I brushed my teeth, but my teeth are not brushed then. If I go to the dentist and say, like, faked it till I become it, now I have nice white teeth, teeth, teeth. Oh, orgasm, you know, fake it till you become it. Maybe if you, if you fake so many orgasms, then you feel like, oh, this feels now I have one. Well, maybe it works, I don't know. They normally say, you know, do a lot of affirmations. Affirmations, aff affirmations. That sounds like affe, like monkey in German, affirmation. You do the affirmations, you do this and you do this. You have to say how great you are, how good you are, how the power of now, you know, everything is, yeah, good, good, stand in positive positions, be positive. But the thing is, you aim for so much. It is easier to go down and be happy with what you have. And then you basically have to change nothing to the top, you know. So happiness, basically, it's like the Maslow of, uh, pyramid of needs. How do you call it in English? The Maslow Bedürfnis pyramid. Probably outdated. I learned it when I was 20, which was... So basically, if you say you want more money, give all your money away until you are so poor that you are happy if you have a place to sleep and uh, toilet paper. Uh. I could not convince myself for that. My self-help book will be about one page and it will just do this one because this is just all you need. You open it. You just need people cheer at you and applaud you and if they don't do it in real life, get a card. Stay happy, stay positive. If you feel like you're getting down and not happy, uh, get even more not happy. Uh, then you feel better with being not happy. If you're not 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 happy, then you're not happy feels quite good. And just um, get a nice card and sing and dance. Hey!